Welcome everyone to another video. Today I'm going to show you my progress with the wiring harness and dashboard removal. Well first things first, to remove the engine wiring you're gonna have to remove the passenger seat. And to do that you're gonna need a 17mm socket wrench, then the middle console when you're gonna require a 10 millimeter socket and you can reach it through the armrest compartment. Once you are done with the process, you have to locate the pigtail under the passenger seat below the carpet. Then pull it out near the SRS module, which is the yellow box in the middle with the yellow cables and unhook the next three connectors next to the SRS module. And when you are done with that, you have to remove the dash to reach the ACD cable. If you have an ACD equip EVA of course, like mine does, which is gonna be attached to the firewall and there is no other way to remove it just to remove the dashboard itself. And this is how it's gonna look like once you manage to get out all the bolts and screws. As you can see, it's moving freely. I just need to take it out slowly and maybe I... Uh, I have to remove first these uh, But yeah, this is it So this is what it looks like without the dashboard Also, don't forget to, um, to remove these liners Because otherwise you just, just cannot get it out As you can see these little nipples on the bottom you're gonna stick into the dashboard so you have to remove these first and to do it you have to undo the the weather stripping and then you just pop them them slowly up and that's how you're gonna get it off and then it's I managed to uh, take out the dashboard without removing the steering wheels or any any other parts on the column um, so uh, it's better if if you're getting some help to do it because it's much easier but you can do it on your own if you're removing the the steering column and the steering wheel uh, since I had some help it was much easier so now what I'm going to do remove the uh, air box and uh, I have to get to the firewall so I can undo some uh, plastic retainers which is holding the ACD cables and the wiring harness so pretty much that's why I had to remove the dashboard right now but since it's removed I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the, the top cover I'm going to replace it with a one that uh, doesn't have an open airbag on it and probably buying another airbag just to be sure, you know. This is the pain in the ass to remove this one bolt right here. But uh, if you have a 10 millimeter wrench, it's gonna take a couple of minutes to undo it. So yeah, this is the whole thing. If you guys are planning to remove this air box, then I suggest you to unhook this little plastic uh, insert, I mean plastic channel over here that's connecting the box with the, with the AC system. Uh, you're gonna have a plastic tap here. plastic tab like this you just have to push it in the inside then you can remove it and there's gonna be at least two of them yep two of them and then you're gonna have another uh, 10 millimeter bolt right there holding it or maybe just a, maybe just another plastic bolt one of these I'm not sure because I didn't have it. Then you have to undo that 12 millimeter bolt. And there's another one right over there. And to reach it, 
you have to have a big ass extension on it. I need it like this, this long to uh, to reach it um, comfortably and undo it from the outside. So uh, if you're planning to remove it, first get the extensions. And then you unhook these cables right there and right here. And another one right here, and then get you good to go. And then you're good to go. Just a quick little update. First, I wanted to remove just that son of a bitch cable right there. Right, that one. But I couldn't because I couldn't reach that fucking plastic, uh, uh, what it's called that's gonna hold into the firewall. I couldn't uh, tear it down, I couldn't undo it. So I had to disassemble the whole freaking dashboard just to get that one out. And it took me one and a half days to get this far. But uh, anyway, I needed to replace the top of the top of the dashboard so don't worry it's just the longest day guys okay let's remove the cables and once the cables are removed um, I can start prepping the engine bay for painting let's get into it so guys I managed to pull out all the wires that goes into the interior. So don't forget this bolt. It's a 10 millimeter, it's really hidden. And if you're not gonna undo it, you kinda have to angle grind the what happened the other side. What I tried to do with uh, using a plier and take it take it off, but it's not gonna help. You really have to uh, Take it off with a 10 millimeter. It's already hidden, so you have to find it near the hole. So I'm gonna just remove it, compare it to the one I have, and uh, this, this, this is the ACD system, and uh, the wires that I have here, I don't have on the on the wiring harness that I bought, so I kind of have to remove this one from here somehow and uh, figure it out if I still have the connectors on the other end somehow. And if I still have them, I just have to slap the whole wires to the to the uh, other one that I'm going to use, and hopefully that's gonna work. If no, I have to pay another two hundred and fifty dollars or three hundred for another. Engine bay wiring set. So that's what I'm right now. I'm going to uh, take it off the cables. Then removing uh, all of these uh, uh, systems on the way. I mean, this one is pretty easy. I just have to uh, undo a couple of bolts and remove the, the whole thing. Then the heat shield and a couple other things so I can prep uh, for the next stage which is painting and I'm going to uh, stick with the metallic red color it's called Barcelona red metallic usually Toyota's have the color so I think I'm going to stick with the metallic since I like you know the metallic uh, the way it looks on the car all right so I'm going to remove the cables now So as you guys can see, I managed to take out the wiring harness. It was really tricky because I had to go under this, uh, I think this is the, the brake line. So I had to go uh, right there. 
I might cut up uh, one of these plastic holders a little bit, but the line is still alright. Then the biggest issue was to, uh, to unhook it from beneath the, the fender. Usually it sits right here, huge plastic piece. You just have uh, like two plastic tabs so you can just uh, work around with some uh, flathead screwdriver. Then of course it was connected to uh, the sensor. Also it was connected to the side marker. And and as you can see, some of these uh, connectors are missing on the other side because on this side I still have them. So uh, you have to unplug it. There is like little plastic tabs that you have to push it back. And it's usually on the, on the inner side. So uh, let me focus here. So tabs like this, you just have to push it and uh, pull it on the other side. Because I wanted to, uh, well I started to uh, push this thing with the screwdriver of course that didn't work so uh, I was fiddling a little on this side and I managed to take it out and on the other side you have another one and if you just uh, tilt it just a little bit it's already sliding out also there's two more connectors here on the top one of them is over there right there and one of them is we need this blue plastic thingy right there. So these are the connectors that's going inside and you have to take out so you can get the whole harness out of the car. This is what it looks like right now. The whole car. It's a mess.